Staying with us, she's still watching the ZNBC News. The U.S. Ambassador to Zambia, Eric Schultz, says uh, the government's idea to have the Constitution Bill done in stages is the right one as long as it is done in a transparent manner. Mr. Schultz, however, pointed out that uh, clauses such as how the president should be elected and the vice president, as well as the Bill of Rights, should be subjected to the referendum. He observed that the referendum is expensive for Zambia, especially that the country is coming from the presidential election and next year there will be a general election. Mr. Shoes observed that the referendum should be held at uh, the same time with the general elections. The U.S. ambassador was speaking to journalists in an interview at the U.S. Embassy in Lusaka. It, it's, it's not for me, the American ambassador, to, to really say how, uh, how Zambia should, uh, should change its constitution. Um, that's really a question primarily for Zambians to address. Um, constitutions are are critical documents. They're, um, they're foundational documents. You shouldn't change them very often, uh, frankly. And, uh, and when you do change them, it needs to be done in the most transparent, consensual way possible. But the government's idea to do this in two stages is not wrong. Um, you know, the first stage, though, needs to be, as they said, those issues that are not contentious, those issues that everyone pretty much agrees on and that are, are changes really to the electoral code and how the president and vice president are, are chosen. Um, and the, uh, the more fundamental changes, the ch changes to the Bill of Rights, those should be done by referendum.